Sorry, my dogs are fighting in the background. So I want to jump to the Stellar They're mad Blade about stuff. The EI too. Yeah. I want to jump to the, the Stellar wrestling. Blade stuff here. Uh, there's been some hypocrisy going on with game journalists, and it's really funny. A lot of people are dunking on them. Finally, people are, are pointing this out because it's been a thing for a while. But you have this Hades 2 game that came out, and you've got this character. I mean, she's it's she's wearing like a skin suit too, so you see everything. But they're praising this mostly because the face is manly. That's why they're doing it. I just want to point that out. What? Well, again, so I'm going to start here for the thing. This guy's got a minute video here, and it actually runs it down pretty good. All right. Rules for thee, not for me. Or at least that's how games journalists see it. But this is the same person that was just saying this not even two weeks ago. So, so you can read that. That's Alyssa Marcenti, uh, the Kotaku senior editor. Uh, this was her comment on Stellar Blade. Just so you know. And this is in reference to this character, E from Stellar Blade, that has everyone up in arms because she's too attractive. She's for the male gaze. But this character comes out for Hades too, and all of a sudden, it's okay to praise these kind of character designs. It's a manly face. It's it's probably it's, a it's trans what, woman. It looks it's like what, what Buffalo would, Bill wanted to be. You know what they call <laughs> T-coded? Like transcoded, T-coded? That's that's what I get from that. It's like it's like a tea coated design. It's like it's a feminine a, the, body, masculine, vaguely. The face is androgynous. Face. Yeah, androgynous. It, 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 androgynous. Yeah. You sound like Fatal J. Yeah. Huh? I know. I don't even think that that's not androgynous. That's a man. That that face is a man. Yeah, that is that a is, man. That's a man. That, face. Is, a, that is a man's yeah. face with a woman's body. That's not androgynous. Well, the whole character it's itself Buffalo is. Bill. This is it's Buffalo Christian. Bill's fantasy. This is what he wanted. It put lotions on his. It's Chris Chan. <laughs> oh, but Jesus they're, Christ. They're all hot for this. All, <laughs> especially Alyssa. Like, how can you say this and not be one? Mommy, sorry. Yeah. One of those porn addicted horny freaks that you keep saying everybody else is because they like E from Stellar Blade. Can you please make it make sense? And they're going to try to gaslight you and be like, one is okay and one isn't when they're the exact same thing. It doesn't yeah. work like that. Again, it goes back to a trend that we keep seeing how if it's a game from the East, they're really critical of it. They don't want to see none of that shit. Yep. But if it's a game from the West, yep. they're going to let it slide. They're, they're going to praise it. They're going to call it all kind of sexy and right type of hot. And apparently this is the right type of hot that checks all the boxes. All right. It's a fat I feel guy like, I feel like that hair, I feel like that hair the way. Is, is hiding a dick. Like, I, I don't, a, the, I don't there's think a fat that's... There's a fat guy over. in a wheelchair too. I want to point that out in case anyone noticed that in the fantasy uh, fantasy. Yeah, setting. that's Hephaestus. Well, also the the chick chick she has one of those like neck things on that hides her Adam's apple. Oh, oh Jesus! That, that, <laughs> that, she, she's got no other clothes but that to hide that because that's a telling sign. Because you guys is can't really get rid thing, of right. That. Like if they had Eve I've in that got, exact same outfit. As as Aphrodite, they would hate. It. Yeah. Listen, I have a message tonight that I want to share. It's time for journalists to stop being racist. They need to stop Asian hate. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> I agree with that. I'm it's telling you, man. When, when when Stellar Blade comes out in the next week, shit is gonna hit the fan. I can't oh, wait for those reviews on Wednesday. When they're all gonna have their obligatory moments when they say like, "Yeah, I was playing it, but I just couldn't enjoy it because of Eve's like this and that body." Like, I'm just waiting for it to happen. The shit storm is gonna be huge, and the game's gonna sell like hotcakes. By the way, oh, it's, it's gonna, gonna it's out. already, it's already like at the top of the pre-order store. Uh, I guess uh, the physical sales in in Europe are really good because we actually get to see box numbers over there still. So yeah, it's gonna sell like crazy. I guarantee you, it's gonna it's gonna be hard to get this physically for a couple of days at least. Is this a new game or is this a new game or franchise? Oh, okay, new. new game, new. Okay, I'm buying it physically to keep it sealed, and then I bought it digitally so I can just play it like you know right away. I'm I, sad I don't have a PlayStation. I'm sure it'll come to PC eventually. Man, yeah, seeing, for sure. Seeing that makes me think of the model from Outlaws. Like it just the contrast in those two models compared to like the, the characters. 
the oh, story yeah. doesn't the story doesn't stop there i want to just show you some of the stuff this Crazy. was uh from kotaku by Alyssa, by the way hades 2 is the kind of hot we need right now <laughs> well, a whole article thirsting over this bullshit. just i just like showing this to show you what a fucking hypocrite these people are a uh, big time it's only because you know it's the eastern eve sexy sexy character but over here you know we still got woke points all over this like for one yeah that's a good point anna made about the adam's apple covering and the fact this is obviously a trans woman on both of them both of them have that adam's so, apple covering yeah, if it's go. the right kind of hot well, it's okay it's it's not that. only that, right? I mean, like it's just, it's just kind of unfortunate too because Super Giant Games, which makes Hades, they actually are a talented developer. They actually make a lot of great games. Like Bastion's great. Uh, Hades One is great. a great game, and Bastion's Hades Hades is, is a yeah. fun game. Yeah, and I'm, it's kind of unfortunate that they're trying to pull Super Giant Games into this conversation when, like, it's just you know. But at the same time, like you look at these designs, and it's very interesting how. It shows also the, the hypocritical side of it too, because if you look at the other Hades two designs, uh, one of the characters, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think in Hades two, Ares is a black woman. If I'm wrong, if I'm not wrong, or a black man or something. When obviously these are Greek gods, but they're just not Greek apparently. Everyone's just kind of whatever they want to be. Like Hephaestus, for example, is a, like he's clearly like an Indian guy or something, but he's a Greek god. But that doesn't matter, apparently. But if we do something like that to Black Panther or whatever, then that's suddenly problematic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Very mm -hmm. weird how they do that. Yeah. Uh, this is the guy, if you remember, said he won't get fired because he is good at sucking dick. <laughs> uh, he's uh, that what chilling he said? for this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? This is what he said. I thought that was a joke. <laughs> this not dude a joke. is a fucking asshole. He came into my mentions and was trying to, like, mansplain shit to me. And I'm like, bro, shut the fuck <laughs> up. I was like, this is the guy for Star Wars Outlaws, right? All male feminists are all holier than thou. Wait, who yeah, is he, he? So there was some drama with him. He's a shitty game designer. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's a he's even the designer. He does the concept art. So mm -hmm. he's not even that. He's not good with computers. He just draws concept art. But like, uh, he got into a big argument about outlaws, and was complete i don't remember the the whole thread but at the end of it he says i won't be fired for my opinions because i'm too good at fellatio <laughs> or uh what a what thing to fuck? admit that's basically what, what he said what a thing to say that's great somebody oh my God. It, it won't be hard to find it was all over the place if someone wants i mean to at least me. he's honest like i mean everybody else up. wants to deny that that shit goes on and this guy's like i'm too good yeah, and there's yeah, I him, yeah. just to show you some more of the shit that's been going on. Here's another thread that got going. This one's funny because Claire Bear, if you read the bio, who the fuck is Claire Bear? Apparently, it's a uh, transgender woman. Yeah, yeah, somebody trying to be a PhD person, uh, praising this. Got an Australian flag in the bio. I don't like that. <laughs> Ryan was like, I don't claim this person. So it's Isn't been funny to watch all the hypocrisy and juggling over this and trying to say that, oh, this is different. This is better. And it just shows yeah. that, you know, these people are all pieces of shit. All these games people yes, all they are. are fucking They're liars just infiltrating and... everything at the moment, man. It's just insane. It's yeah. insane. And like I keep telling people, you have the power. Just don't buy things you don't yeah. want to see. And then eventually.